Howdy folks, I'm Max Stevens. I buy old records. I buy old records all sorts of places. Right now I'm gonna buy them down in Buenos Aires, Argentina, because that's where I am right now. I'm here with my buddy and my bass player, and today he's just taxiing me around because I'm so pretty. That's, that's path 13. There's at least 13 paths one must take. Don't take this one. But anyway, we just arrived this morning my lovely bride and and jesse lee they're going with uh her mom and, and uh stepdad in their car and we're going to go get settled in and then for a while i'm just going to do the whole argentine thing i'll work some records in but i'm working a whole lot more drinking and and beef and stuff like that still going to try to maintain my weight loss yeah good luck with that all right, beloved, I'm in Buenos Aires. Usually get us an apartment. This one's got the jacuzzi, and it's got the parisha. That's the barbecue type thingy. And then, it's just a nice apartment in Belgrano. Very nice, sedate area of town. Not quite so much bad stuff going on, you know. But I love it here. It's my favorite place on earth, Buenos Aires. Seriously. My good friend Charlie is here. My in-laws. Karina's mom and stepdad, two of the nicest people. Well, two of the people you'll meet. And, uh, oh, they're nice. Jesse Lee's hiding somewhere talking to his girlfriend. Charlie, though, call Carlos Rotendaro, my drummer. Ah, uh, yeah, he's my drummer here in Argentina. Plays on the new album we've got, Best Rock in Place. And I brought him a bunch of records that he wants. So we're going to look at records. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we do. So, as I always pack records, I pack them like I'm going to mail them. These are some 78s Charlie wants. And uh, I'm going to open these up. Oh, broke them all. Sorry. No. These traveled in the checked-in luggage. They better have made it. If they don't, I'm going to be sad. Charlie be more sad. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, what is this? These are from two years ago. Char Charlie said, I want these Gene Vincent records from two years ago. And I remembered. There's Woman Love, Bebop Lula, Race with the Devil, and Who Slapped John. Oh. Yeah. He ain't never paid me for him, but he's going to work off this debt by drumming for me. Then, <laughs> Thank you. then, I've got this. This, and I cut two versions of this. This is the first one from, oh, a year and a half ago when I cut it, but then I've cut it once again. Now see, that one's on clear plastic. I cut it again on my machine with improved technique. So we've got Charlie doing Rock Del Tom Tom, which is an old Johnny Tedesco rockabilly anthem from Argentina. And then Charlie's No Piensas en las en lo, lo. En lo que vendra. Yeah. Vendra. I can't roll my R's. It's vendra. Fridonia, Fridonia Records. Records. And and where what is this what does this guy play on huh what else does he play on why well, he plays on the new album doesn't he look at that oh yeah there. oh hell yeah best rock in place look here look here it's, look it's we're gonna copy. put it right here uh oh you don't get any you got to buy your copies look at his face <laughs> ah carlos ah he's mentioned on it because he's part of this i'm not how many copies do you need i'm not how many copies you fucking better be on there. It's sorry about my language, folks. Right here. Oh, also, I'm drinking oh, yeah, my traditional Charlie, drink. Charlie Rotten. <laughs> this, this cost about a dollar. Cafe au cognac. I will have some now because I need it. <laughs> this will be for another time. Fernando Coto, my guitar player. One of my guitar players. This is for for fur. Oh no no, this is for fur. No no, we don't. We're not nice to fur. We gotta be bad with fur. And if you pack an LP on either side, that's more protection. So you put, put, put them on either side, an LP, then it's protected. Charlie deals in LPs and 45s and 78s here in Argentina. He is, he is your go-to guy. You, if you want rocking stuff, if you want Dean, Dean Martin, anything like that, I don't care what it is, Charlie finds it. He's like I buy old records in Argentina. Him and Leandro Urso. We'll talk to him later. We're going to drink. We're going to eat food. <laughs> oh, I didn't get any of that on camera. Well, I'm going to do it again. Charlie, he's a very talented dude. 
Yeah, he is. He sings. He, he he plays guitar. He's a drummer. I'm a fucking barbecue man. He is. He fornicates while he barbecues. But that is his main talent. I only keep him around for this. I'm a better barbecue man than a drummer. Yep. And we're going to have Troy Pan. Yep. That's like Argentine uh, hot dogs, sausage, in bread. It don't sound like much, but it's some of the best ambrosia. It makes makes people it makes you think you've got a party in your mouth and everybody's invited butt naked. Anyway, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna let him work. Well, howdy, folks. I'm at Stevens. I buy old records on a bus right now, and I'm gonna go over and see my friend Charlie. Yeah, well, Charlie, you met him maybe the other day when we were having our cookout. He's got a lot of records. I'm gonna pick up a bunch from him. He was selling for me down here on. Uh, 50% commission. I'm gonna pick up a bunch of them to carry them back to Texas. And uh, we'll talk later, it's getting a bit crowded. Well, all right, we've arrived to, to Charlie Rotten's house. And like I said, guy's got records, lots of records. Look at this, he's got good stuff here. And I like good stuff. There's old Smiley Lewis, Jerry Lee Lummox, Argentine version of that hard to find extended play. Another volume of it too, look at that. He's got stuff. We're gonna look at stuff in a little bit. Right now, we're probably gonna have a drink. He already gave me 10 bucks that he owed me for a record he sold to mine. I'm making the money while I'm here. Charlie's a musician. He also works as a librarian. You know what they say about librarians? No, really, if, if you know, let me know. I'd like to find out what they say. <laughs> Okay, so I brought Charlie a 78 record I'd cut. He's playing drums on it of Best Rock and Plays. My newest LP on Fredonia Records. And uh, I don't know why he's got that one playing too. But anyway, sounds great on the old system. He's got an old Winco. These were apparently sold in Argentina a lot. And the thing is, these are the kind of turntables these were meant to be played on. Where's your volume here, Charlie? My favorite, my there. favorite Elvis Presley record? Yes, Elvis was really, he was really, really, really popular in Argentina. Yeah. In the 50s and 60s. My, uh, Wait. Wow. monocopy from the USA. Really? Oh, this, uh, this, uh, this is the uh, US one. Yeah. Neat. That's hard to find. Yes, I have. Many, many copies yep. of this record. This is the Argentinian. Uh, I, li I like Audio this. Elvis. I like this cover better. Yeah. See, so many times when other countries have put out Elvis stuff, they did it with better covers. It looked better. This is the original LP from yep. Argentina. And. Ta-da! I. The drum roll. I, I'm, going, I'm going to show you the complete. Yeah. The full. Re of what? Recordings. Of it in in Cuba. Oh, well, show it. Or El Elvis or in Cuba. El Elvis Presley. This it's, is it. The full discography, <laughs> Cuban discography of Elvis Presley. Is this record, Elvis regresa. No way. So this is the Cuban version. Yeah. Wow. The only record before before Castro goes uh, communist. Man. So communism isn't the best thing on earth because then you don't have yeah, so much Elvis. Because, the, I like the cover, how it's just a, yeah, and the, the, a low the, the res. World, the world is different. Regresa. Uh, uh, Regresa. The US is back. Yep. Argentina is volvió. Cuba Return. is regresa. And I discovered uh, the, the Colombian. Yep. I don't have it. You'll but get the it. Colombian, uh, this um, Elvis ha regresado. Oh. Now this is nice. Show Let me you. show them this. No, this this, is, this, this is, is a book. This is a book. These are and books. This, the, the second volume by a guy I know, a close friend yeah. of Charlie's. Yeah. And Carlos, uh, Carlos Ares. Yep. Uh, he, he is the Argentine guy to go to for Elvis stuff. One time, I got a uh, seventy-eight of Elvis. Good luck charm. Argentine. RCA. I have it. I, Do you want to see it? Did you get it? Yeah. So now there's two copies known. <laughs> Because there was no copies of this I thing, no. I got it, I got it, yeah. I tell Carlos Aries, he goes, no existe, doesn't yeah. exist. I said, existe. I go to his shop, 
Because, I'll tell you what, folks, let me take this thing off so I can look at you when I speak. Carlos Aries has a shop in Buenos Aires on Cache, Florida, which is dedicated just to Elvis. So you've got an Elvis shop in this this town, just for Elvis. He said the record didn't exist. I take it to him. He, sh he shakes visibly. Didn't have the money, though, to buy it at the time. A German guy bought it from me. And now Charlie has probably the second or third known copy of this record because nobody knew the thing existed. How about if, yeah, let's put that there so it doesn't get lost. Wow. In pristine condition. Is pristine uh, a word in English? How about that little crack there, though? Will that come out? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. <laughs> Man. See, and that's it. The, the, one, the one that I got was the first known copy. I think there's another in Europe, and then there's this one. So that's like, that's on a par with D.A. Hunt, Rarity. I want you, I need so you, love you, Elvis, on his master's an English, voice. An UK copy. Yep, yep, that's, that's the UK. And the other Fever. ones are Ooh, Argentinians, that's rare. Fever. That wasn't issued in the States as a single. Uh, it's, it's now never, or Sol never. Or Sol Mio. Oh, oh, do with Italian, oh, oh. Italian words. That's it. Ah, and this one, uh, Surrender Storna Zurien. Wow. The, the Never a 78. Wooden Heart. Ooh, on a 78. On a 78? The little sister, little sister on a 78. The, folks, these things are hard and to find. Charm now, last... I knew a Jimmy Cavallo uh, lived down the Sam street. Sam Clark. Ooh, here cool. in Argentina. Like that. Like Sam that. Clark. Never knew that existed. Johnny, Johnny Cash, Cash all over again on a 78 on a 78 Man. and Johnny Cash I got stripe soy un presidial I've got this one yes sir unless I sold it ah scene plays 45 45s there's some of the US and US, is that US? yeah get my glasses on for this Argentina ooh ooh good cover the 20s flapper girl with a 50s guy <laughs> US Argentina so you got the U.S. and Argentine counterparts yeah. together. I like that. I like Bill Haley. Bill Haley was very popular in Buenos Aires uh, and all over. I find his 78s quite often Argentina. here. Argentina? Man. Ooh, Argentina. Jesus Cometas. In U.S. Yes. Uh, oh. And then I see this guy here. Yeah. Look at that. I'm going to find you the red one. Uh-huh. You need the red one. Yeah, you, you gave me this. Of course I did. Yeah. I'm a nice guy. Well, you know, what the hell, Charlie. I'm a nice guy. And, uh, and maybe, maybe you like to see this El Incomparable. I can't compare it. Ooh, I like too that it's got that. That's a promo. Yeah, that's how they designated a promo in those days. And that is just so freaking American cool. the American edition, a touch of gold. Now, what color uh, label on this one? Pull, pull the record. Show me the, show me the record. Da -da 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 -da. Ah, that's the hard one. Man, I bought this record. You know where? Where? Here Puerto in... Rico. Puerto Rico. Wow. Puerto Rico. Uh, in Puerto a, Rico. In an antique shop. Man. Not, not in a record store. That's 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 a rare rare thing. And uh, ooh, Pat Boone. Yes. Did Keep they put out many? I know, but this is this is the US. Yeah, US. It's the US. I don't have the Argentinian. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Well, you have to find it. I I, oh, no, I don't have more uh, Argentina. Oh, this is great. Yeah, Perfect yeah, that's parties. hard to find, especially with the sleeve. Sleeve's hard. Because I know the kids uh, bought it, played it, and didn't like it. It didn't have music you, on do it. Do you like to see some Argentinian rockers? Yes, absolutely. So maybe you, you got to show me. Ooh, look at look at this terrible thing. To my Argentine rockers. Ah, yeah. Ah, Max, Max Stevens. Stevens. Ah. <laughs> oh, man, my friend Whitey that put that out, he died. So, uh, he died last month. Who? Whitey, uh, Whitey Mac, who put this record uh, uh, and this record uh, out. Oh. He, he just died unexpectedly. Sorry about I miss him. He was a good dude. Had his head in the right place, that's you for have sure. Back here, Johnny Tedesco. Oh, yeah. Rock now, Tom Tom, Vuelve Primavera. Now, Johnny, Johnny Tedesco, a friend of mine. He was uh, about 16 when he put this record out, about 1960 or so. It's it's rockabilly. Yeah. Wow, Rock Del Tom Tom is just flat out sun sounding rockabilly. So so is the the flip side, Vuelva Primavera, and 
He it's became like real famous. Four, he did a he did a whole lot of uh, rock and roll type, beach type movies. You know the stuff that Annette and Frankie and them were doing. Real popular on TV. And yeah. then he owns a uh, dress shop over on uh, the uh, Recetto part of town. And he's made a comeback, and he's playing and and just doing great An things. LP. In his trademark sweater. Yeah. Man. This one from the LP, El Fabuloso. Uh, yeah. And of course, you got to show me some Sandro. Yeah. Because Sandro was the, the he, Johnny Tedesco was the young Elvis of Ar Argentina, but Sandro was the Elvis of Argentina in, in later years, especially. He started out doing rock and roll, not really rockabilly, but rock and roll. And then he did pop, and he was just the biggest thing since Last Bread here. So wow. a whole lot of shaking going on. I am mucha agitacion. El twiste mama grisa. Uh, and see, these are some of the stuff he very, did probably in the late 60s. Find. Oh, yeah. You find the records beat up because they played the hell out of them. So, these ones are uh, <coughs> uh, uh, another repertoire. Profundamente Herido is... It's a song uh, from uh, Dave Clark Five. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and Alcance no si puedes, is catch us if you can. Oh. From Dave Clark Five to. Did they give the proper uh, artist uh, or songwriter credit or uh, no? The, the, what? Did yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They did yeah. all right. Some places they don't. Hay mucha agitación, color shaking going on, and the single. This is a my, my uh, discotheque. Wow. So mm. you got jazz on the top. We're gonna leave jazz alone. Okay. I I just. I jo I'm just telling you. Uh, I don't know okay. why you talk that way around you have me. Jazz on ah, the top. Say it again. Jazz on the top. A little gospel. Ah, cool. Uh, blues. This is blues. Yep, blues goes on and on, I see. Is it chess? Oh. From uh, you UK? UK? No. No, 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 this, this, UK. this, this, this is, is US. US. I, US. I've never found this one in the wild. Recorded in the UK. Yeah. But I, I've never found this record anywhere. Who, who wrote on there? I don't know. Oh, I thought maybe it was Previously Chuck. Previously owner. Ah. Rhythm and Blues. Okay. I could autograph so, Chuck uh, Berry on it I for you. I have, uh, we oh, have oh, oh. And he also has this. The Charlie Calthrop All-Stars. See? Now, he's put <laughs> this out on vinyl, though, and it's a damn fine record. Years ago, I was here. We were having a party, as, as people here do. They enjoy life. And Charlie wasn't looking, so I said... I walked up to him and said, Charlie, I did something. What? I said, I took one record from one shelf and I put it on another shelf. No! Man, you thought Mount Vesuvius had freaking gone off. No! No, because Charlie's a very calm person, as you see. No! Hijo de puta! No! So he, he was checking. I forgot the party. He was going up and checking. <laughs> and then finally, I, did, I didn't move anything, Charlie. Oh man, he burned like 200 calories looking for that thing because one record was out let of play, me, let me out show of place. You, uh, let me show you oh, this one. Yeah. yeah, there we go. E. Sus, Bob and Blue Bob Jeans. And Blue Jeans, man. I found a copy of this for Karina. She's got it up on the wall in her office. Yeah. That's a great record. And the second one is most uh, difficult. Difficult. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, nice. E. Sus, Blue Caps. Yeah. Wow, what is a, it the, what a the, different the, cover. The insert. No, oh, that's the, the insert. Oh, I got you. Got you. Let me, let me show you the... Show, the show me. Cover. Show me. Show me. Oh, that's it. Marvelous. Man. Of course, we've got really good music in here. We've got Best Rock in Place by Max Stevens and his In the Groove Boys. There I am right there. Charlie plays drums on that, as we've mentioned a, a whole bunch. And it's just, just all sorts of good stuff here. But I want him to show me a few Rockabilly LPs. Jesse's conked out. That's a good thing. You um, gave me Ooh, this yes. one. Absolutely. Here, many years ago. Ah, I'm glad you've yeah. still got it. Excellent. It's one of the finest albums ever made. Not a bad song on it. But I got to see that one LP, though, that I've been we don't have, wanting to see. Uh, Johnny Cash, Argentinian records from the, f the first period, 50s. Mm, we, we don't have no, no, not from some. No, no, no. no. So, there it is. Uh, this pull one, that damn oh, record. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pull, pull, pull them both. This, this is one. I've had this one three times. I've sold it every time. 
Johnny Burnett and the Rock and Roll Trio. I this is Copy. This this is Isus Trio. Isus Trio. The the titles in Spanish. Nice. So Honey Hash. Yep. Taponcito de miel. Nothing to do with the no, title. No. Oh, honey, that's why. Honey, yes, ah, but taponcito is like uh, I don't know the word in English. Is that you put it on 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 a bottle? Which is the name? Just a little bottle of honey. Yeah. Nothing to do with the song. Okay. Yeah, I've had that one twice, and I don't know why I've sold it because I need to keep a copy. So I'll probably just take yours when you're not looking. Show me one more. My battery is saying. Oh, look at that. Bailando Argentinian. Rock. Bailando wow. Rock. Wow. The little 10 inch album. Yeah. Shoot. Hugely popular here. Yeah. Man, him and Elvis and little Richard, Ricardito. Uh, you find his 78s everywhere you go. He was really popular too. Ricardito. So, what do you think about my. I like it. It doesn't suck, I'll tell you that. No, it's <laughs> wonderful. He's also got stuff by the Beatles, but we're not talking about that. Thank you, Charlie. You are one suave Thank you. Dude. Thank you, my friend. See you around.